Everybody makes mistakes. Either no, uh, just trivial mistakes or really bad mistakes. People make mistakes, and you just you can't throw people away. I believe that only God could judge me, and uh, you know, until that day comes, you know, I wouldn't care about what people think about me. I have no other choice but to stay here and do my time. Just gotta take it. A lot of youth are, you know, they've either been misguided or uh, some youth don't come from a, a totally functioning family. And so uh, the streets kind of guide their life. And so I think that's part of it. I think what I did, you know, was the best that I could have done at that time. And um, I probably would have been dead. So, you know, I don't know. I really thank God that, you know, that didn't happen. I would just stay on the bus instead of getting off the bus and going to go, you know, be nosy. I would have stayed on the bus and continued to go home, but I didn't. What I did was, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that bad, but they, they make it seem seem worse than it is. If you're a measure 11, you're classified as an adult, which is the maximum of five years, 10 months. And so I don't think that's right that youth, just because of a charge they got, should be even near an adult charge, so. Kind of hard living with a whole bunch of other females because they are kind of catty and, yeah, don't like being around females. Some girls can be so emotional, like me, and like just can be rude sometimes. You learn from your experience being here, like patience and um, stuff like that. Just patience and how to work with other people, work in large groups, and yeah. I think it's school. I can I, I can actually learn here. Like out there, I'm I'm kind of lazy, but here you got school every day. How to set like a goal every day, and uh, how to be a better person on the outside. Well, wonderful staff, you know, that loves us and um, you know take care of us, you know, and they have our support. You know, you have people that could relate to you. You know what I mean? That you could talk to staffs. You know, your peers that, you know, been, been in your situation and they can give you advice. Having also um, been incarcerated when I was a teenager uh, and going through the system and uh, having people care enough to um, uh, recognize that I had value and that I just uh, needed to be taught some new ways of dealing with things um, and it completely changed my life. So I hope to do that same thing with the kids that I work with. I definitely can relate to these kids. Um, I, when I was a teenager, I smoked a lot of pot and got into trouble. Um, just the, the same behavioral issues with their parents that they have. I, had, I did not get along with my mom. Huge fights that I had with her that a lot of these kids are going through. And I still feel like that part of me is fresh in my mind so that when I'm encouraging these kids and able to hang out to, with them, that I can really um, show them like, hey, you guys can change. And this is like, it's hard because I went through that too. It ain't worth it in the long run. It's, um, you know, in the long run, it makes it harder for everything. And yeah, that's, it's just, it's not worth it at all. You don't want to end up here because it's not the best place in the world. And um, just stay out of trouble, do the right thing, go to school, graduate, you know, make your parents happy, and you won't end up in here. Think about your family and what your parents would think. Even if they weren't always there for you, just think, oh, maybe this is hurting them, like my family. I wasn't thinking about my mom, and it's hurting her about what I did. Stay in school, 
preoccupy your time doing positive things instead of doing negative. Don't get in trouble, you know. It's not worth it being in here because, like, you know, you got to do mandatory time sometimes. And it's not worth it because, you know, you, you like most of the time you're sometimes in your room too much and then, you know, it gets you to think a lot and, you know, some people go crazy and stuff like that in here. Measure 11 is no joke. I mean, it's pretty harsh. Like, one, one mistake, because you're still growing, we're still young men, and we're still growing, and then one little mistake can end you up in here for, I don't know, seven years, five, a long time. I'm um, planning on going to college. I've already finished high school, so I'm planning on going to college, and yeah. Getting a job, staying in the positive, doing good. <laughs> uh, if I get out, you know, I'll probably, you know, I, I don't even know, I'll probably go back to school, you know, um, take care of my family, my kids, and, um, you know, try to do better in life. Once I get out of here, I plan to uh, finish school and get a good job. Don't give up. Don't never give up. <laughs>